And let's welcome back from Women's Day, Sita Kitchen. Sita, good morning. Lovely to be here. Really nice to have you in the studio again with all of the goss hot off the presses. Yeah, well, we're back at school today, the little kitties. So is it a perfect time to grab a Women's Day and have yes. a bit of me time? Yeah, a bit, a bit of you there. time. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. And what's on the cover? Sandra Bullock. There's nothing a uh, Woman's Day reader likes more than a good dollop of romance, and there's heaps in the magazine this week, including the fact that Sandra is tying the knot again. Is she? Do you remember all that public humiliation she went through and heartbreak? With Jesse James. With Jesse James. Yes. Oh, that's, that's awful. Right. Remember? Messy. Infidelity. Messy. Yucky. I was as heartbroken as she was. Uh, maybe not quite. Well, that's going to make her more cautious going into a new relationship, it was. isn't it? So I'm pleased she's engaged. Well, she's also adopted yeah, a couple of screen. kids since then, right? Little Louie and Lila. So... This is a big step taking um, Ryan Randall into her life. Right, so Ryan Randall. And there was a Ryan. bit of controversy about him last year, wasn't there? Yeah, he's got a bit of a pass, but who hasn't? Yeah, exactly. Uh, Mel. Get to a certain <laughs> age. Everyone's got a pass. <laughs> and, <laughs> um, and, yeah, looking to get married in July. Lovely story. He's a bit of a silver fox. Bit of a, he's a model uh, and a photographer. But Josh Emmett-ish, actually. If that's oh, just he actually. is, actually. That's a good description. <laughs> he's really nice. And also, you know what I really like about the story is that I think she's such an incredible woman and she just looks... Amazing. 51. Just incredible. 51. Just incredible. never changes, funny enough. Yeah. yeah. Voted the most sexiest woman 2015 by People magazine. Oh, yeah. And highest paid actress in Hollywood. Somebody's been doing their research. Oh. <laughs> nice. Oh. Can you try and get Sido's job? <laughs> I'm always flicking through a woman's day, so I'm, you know, keeping me up to date. I know what's going on, Mel. And I know. This, this Favourite Sandra Bullock rom-com, then? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Busted. Where's saying, my phone? I think there might be miscongeniality, personally. But, you know, yeah. Moving on. Okay, let's move on to something that you do have a lot of experience yes. in. You didn't even need to Google The Bachelor. <gasps> Down to the final three. Oh, everyone's talking about it at the moment. You know, everyone's got a, an opinion on who the final three are. They look stunning in the magazine this time around. Yes, Thank you. Uh, so, yes, here's Jordan, dressed as a cowboy, kind of, in a suit. Oh, nice. Rather dapper. But anyway, who will lasso his heart? One of these cowgirls. We've Ooh. got from the left, Erin. Uh, Fleur, and who can forget the name Naz? <laughs> Who's your pick? Ooh, I mean, Naz has totally put her heart out there, as has Fleur, actually. Erin's been a bit, she, Aaron's a bit more, uh, you know, if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. I feel like Fleur would be a lovely pick, but, you know, I wouldn't put money on it. You've, who only, knows? Got a, you've only got a week to wait. Final Fleur, when is crunch time? Uh, a week's time. They're meeting the parents tonight. Yes. <gasps> OK, I might have to tune in for that one. And you've also got the stunning Maria Tutaya in the, in the magazine. She is yeah. just such a beautiful woman. Yeah, gosh, I love this woman. So, yeah, a, a big Woman's Day favourite too. So we were lucky enough to go back to Samoa with uh, Maria. She's actually born in New Zealand, took a row of all places, and, um, but she's very proud of her Samoan heritage, and gosh, are they proud of her too. So when she went back to New Zealand, they'd pop in for photos at the local market, think we've got five to ten minutes here, guys, and they'll be there for over an hour because they just absolutely love her over there. They're so proud as punch of her, and so they should be. And she's, she's a gorgeous girl. Yeah, she, and she's really down to earth and a fantastic ambassador, I yeah, think. You know, yeah. not only for netball, yeah. um, but for Samoa as yeah, well. So right. I she's tried to convince her to do The Bachelorette if TV3 were going to do The Bachelorette. Well, she's with Israel Folau. I don't know how he'd feel about that. <laughs> yeah, he'd probably have a few, a few issues with it, I would say. And speaking of, like, night, well, I'm just trying to segue into this next one here, but I can't think of one. But she's beautiful as well. She's more martial. Engaged! Isn't that happy news? So it took three attempts and you'll have to read about all the epic fails in the magazine and why it took so long for them to actually get it together. But Woman's Day was with them in Fiji when they finally got a ring on Siobhan's uh, finger. So her partner is Mill in Bed, talented comedian, actor, writer. Mm. Auckland and, uh, Days, I remember him from that. He yeah, was great in that. And of course everyone knows Siobhan from Outrageous Fortune and Dancing with the Stars, where she did so beautifully. She did. So hopefully we'll be there for the wedding later in the year. Nice work. OK, Chris Martin. Yeah, he's getting around these days, isn't he? So since he's broken up with Gwyneth, he's been with a couple of ladies, Jennifer Lawrence, uh, and uh, uh, the Peaky Blinders star as well. But more recently, he's been seen in Malibu with Heather Graham. Loads of photos of them walking on the beach together. See, I don't find that a problem. I think that's quite a good matchup, actually. Do you? Yeah, I don't uh, think it's too I know. Bad. Well, I think Gwyneth has a bit of a problem because he seems to. Uh, she's an old good friend of hers, so it's always a bit awkward. Oh, okay. A bit like that with Kate Hudson. Remember, he had dates with Kate Hudson. Awkward. And they went through all that. that quote was, what was it, conscious uncoupling. Yeah. That was Chris Martin, wasn't it? So yeah, now he's, he's consciously coupling. coupling. Yeah. <laughs> Serial conscious coupler. <laughs> he's making up for lost couple time, but it sounds like yeah. And um, nice to see Heather Graham, because she's been fairly quiet recently, hasn't she? A long time. I mean, she actually isn't she? She could be she making was. movies that we're not watching. Who knows? But um, she was. Um, if there be thorns, or what, you know, the the, um, no. the ones Victoria's <laughs> attic, the ones where the family lived in the in the attic. Are there movies for those books? Oh yeah, there was, and I oh. interviewed her. Anywho, anywho, I think enough about that. Hey, Cedo, it's been a pleasure as always to have you in the studio. Thank you so much for joining Thank us. Thank you. See you next week.